good morning um or whenever you're watching this tammy cinematic gains i had a spiel what was my spiel i forget what i'm talking about i ramble i get distracted easily there you go i whatever i forget things <laughs> i go off on tangents that's it tangents um hi <laughs> take this off so it's a rainy day in dfw it is the third day of the North Texas Yarn Crawl. I am one of the dyers um, participating in the North Texas Yarn Crawl, and there is a whole room in there with a day bed full of yarn I have not labeled yet. Because <laughs> here's the thing, you, sorry, see, distractions. There's a bird out there trying to get into the vent on my neighbor's house, and I can see that because my curtains fell down last night. Anyway. <laughs> See, already, already. Um, I'm in my office uh, because my craft room is an absolute disaster. Uh, I decided I was going to try to move, if you guys have seen the yarn wall, he got in. <laughs> my neighbor's got a bird living in his vents. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, if you've seen this a few times, you may have seen the yarn wall. Well, I decided I was gonna try to move that without taking any of the yarn off or the stuff off the top. And I was going to slide it into my office, which is off of my living room. Did you find another bone? I'm gonna close the door. You did. All right, you guys are out. No more dogs. Sound might echo a bit, I don't know. <laughs> I never sit in my office. I'm trying to make it so I do. Um, so last episode, I told you guys I was gonna move my sewing table in here, which I did, but all my bare yarn is still in the closet because the closet in my office has shelving. Um, so all my bare yarn is in here. All my other closets are the, you know, just the walk-in with the hanger thingies. Um, so I need to move all of my bare yarn out of here. Um, my goal is to actually dye it all. <laughs> And then it'll go into the yarn room. Anyway, I was trying to move the yarn room, which, all right, so the way my house is situated, my yarn room is that away at the front of the house where the light is. <laughs> and my office is in the back of the house next to the kitchen. I decided I was going to slide that entire 5x5 five five Ikea, I think it's 5x5, five five, Ikea shelf to my office. I got a quarter of the way through the yarn room with it and then things fell down. Um, so, <laughs> cause I was trying to not have to take everything off of it. Cause I mean, yarn doesn't weigh that much, but um, yeah, I knocked some things over. So now I've got to reorganize my yarn and pick all the stuff up off the floor. Um, yeah, so. My office is now being taken over by yarn and purchases, and um, that's what we're going to look at today. Because, yeah, I'm procrastinating because I don't want to go sit in my guest room and label yarn, <laughs> which I have to do so I can sell it next weekend. Um, but anyway, so we're just going to look at stuff today, you guys. Um, I spent a shitload of money yesterday. <laughs> To the point where I was afraid to look at my credit card balance. Afraid, y'all. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Like, I told, I was telling Tania, like, here's my goal for the yarn call, because I know I don't need anything. One, I, well, I didn't tell her this, but I was going to look for fiber just in case, because sometimes vendors have fiber. Nobody had fiber. Um, anyway, well, one of the yarn stores we went to had fiber, but that doesn't count. I mean like vendors. Anyway, <laughs> so my goal was to look at fiber just in case I saw something new. I've already built the fiber stash, you guys. Some of the stuff I'm going to show you is more fiber that I bought. Um, it's okay. <laughs> I, think I, I think I need to not buy anymore. I think I have a good enough stash to play with and practice with. I think I need to freaking stop. I need to stop. Anyway. I also need to stop with the yarn, but that's not what happened. Anyway, <laughs> so I was telling Tania what I wanted to do, my goal for purchases for the yarn crawl, I wanted to get a super swirl from U2 Yarn, which is a uh, five, 
I think it's 50 gram skeins, five 50 gram skeins, like, wow, well, like twisted up together. It's a swirl. <laughs> and um, it's for a shawl that they, um, I mean, you don't have to use it for that pattern, but there's a shawl that they designed. And I'll show you guys the card if I brought it in here. I may not have brought it in here. Anyway, I'll pop up a picture if I didn't. It's super cute. And it takes one swirl to do. And they were a hundred bucks, which I, um, if I sit down and think about the math of that, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I spent too much money, y'all. Um, anyway, my goal was to get one of those. And I wanted a sweater quantity from Knit Dallas. Knit Dallas is one of the newer local yarn stores here. And they carry, I think all of their yarn is non-superwash. And it is the most amazing store. I love, I love looking at all the things in there. They have so much heathered yarn. Oh my God. And they have, a, um, what's the Baltimore, Baltimore place? Neighborhood, neighborhood dye whatever, the Baltimore one, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they have a whole wall of that. Um, they have a wall of the Pashmina, which I thought was super, maybe it's not, I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> it's a black thing. Um, let me look, is it not super wash? I think it's not super wash. Okay, so the only super wash they carry is Mattosh. Um, because I think the lady was saying that they don't have any, like somebody asked something and they said they didn't have any superwash yarn, but they do. The Mad Tosh is superwash, but it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> tangents. Oh, the bird in the vent is tripping me out. I gotta put my curtains back up. <laughs> Mostly, I have the curtain up in my office because it blocks the light that shines onto my TV during the day. So it kills the glare. Um, it's feeding its babies in the vent. <laughs> I guess it's not the dryer vent. I don't know. Why am I distracted? Anyway, this is probably going to be long because I bought a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys stuff that I just randomly bought. And then I'm going to show you my yarn crawl stuff. Um, I don't expect. I did look at my credit card last night, but I, <laughs> I don't expect to buy any more stuff during the yarn crawl. But I do expect to shop on Saturday uh, during my <laughs> my session of the yarn crawl because I'm going to be at the store all day and there's just no way I'm going to come out of there with nothing. Um, so I will probably buy more stuff at West 7th Wool while I'm there. But um, yeah. And see, I was going to show you guys the yarn I'm taking to the yarn crawl, but I haven't labeled anything yet or named half of it. And procrastination station. I cannot stop looking at this bird in the vent. I wonder if they're the birds that live in my tree. <laughs> but now they're like hiding from the rain in the vent. They put their babies in the vent. That's funny. Hi little baby birds, you're so cute. I think they're chickadees. I think they're chickadees. Or f fin what's the other one? Finches? I can't remember. Birds. Okay. Can you guys hear Benny chewing on the bone? I can hear it. Maybe it's a little muffled. Anyway, <laughs> let me get back to the things. Okay. So, and you guys see the spinning wheels behind me. I've only, I did a short video um, of me playing on them that I put, I put on Instagram in my stories, I think. Um, I did finally play around with the Ashford Joy, which is this one, the one that looks like a cathedral window. And I played around with my sidekick and I think I prefer the sidekick because I was struggling to use the Joy. Um, which sucks because that's the one I really wanted to paint <laughs> and put like stained glass looking thing on. Um, thinking I might part with the Joy, my friends. I'm not sure yet. I haven't completely decided. I feel like I need to give it an honest go, like, you know, make an effort to use it. But I, I really do think I prefer the sidekick. Something about it, like it's easier for me to treadle. 
and get going. And I don't know. I was, I was, I was struggling with the joy y'all. Um, so yeah, and I forgot to put my phone in did not disturb. So let me do that real quick because the video will stop if it does that again. Hang on. Okay. I think that fixed it. Um, first and foremost, so I can get it out of my way. Cause it looks like I'm sitting next to trash. Um, the store in Farmersville, uh, fancy fibers. I told you guys a little bit ago that they had closed. Um, she still does stuff like around the um, Dallas area, but she doesn't have the physical store location anymore. But in their place is a place called Mercantile on Main. And I just, you know, popped over in there because at Yarn and You, when you go to the Yarn Crawl stuff at Yarn and You, they were given 10% uh, coupons to the new store next door. So I was like, oh, go check it out. I like mercantiles. You always find something interesting. And I bought earrings, which are somewhere in here. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff, y'all. Um, they're in here somewhere. I'll find them. Anyway, I spotted some film reels on the floor, like wall hanging, like the decorative ones. Um, and they don't look the same as the two that I have, but they're metal like the two that I have. And I was like, I just want one, I wanted one of those. Like, I don't know if they're a set, but you know, are you selling those? And she goes, oh yeah, they're three bucks. I bought both. So. <laughs> $3. Metal. Yes, please. Okay. So this is gonna go on the wall with my other two. I, I wanted all of my film rolls to be different. Um, but I could do like, I could do like a mural with an actual movie camera and then have these be the reels, like a giant mural on the wall. But this could be like a 3D feature. Ooh, there's a thought. Okay, anyway. Total six dollars. <laughs> so this was a this was an economical purchase for me, you guys. And that was the non-fiber related thing I got. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the earrings. There's a pile, y'all. <laughs> and I will say there is a lot of fiber in here to show y'all. Um, so if you're not interested in fiber. I'll do the yarn first and then you can dip out if you don't care about the spinning stuff. Where did I put those earrings? Mm -hmm. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Oh, I think that's it. Is that the bag? <laughs> we got so much stuff yesterday. Woo! Yeah, no. These are the other earrings. <laughs> I bought earrings. Um, I think I spent the most at Quixotic Fibers, but I expected that. Like I fully knew which stores I was going to spend the most money at. I knew it was going to be Quixotic and Yarn and You. Well, I expected to spend a lot of money at Yarn and You, but I didn't, which I was surprised by. Um, where did I put? So these are from Mercantile on Main, and what it, it's like Mercantiles, they have like different vendors, kind of like a flea market. That's what I think of Mercantiles as now. They're like fancy flea markets. And this is from a vendor called Boo and Bear Shop. And they're little terrarium earrings. How cute. I don't know which video setting I have on right now. Is it the one that focuses? We'll see if it focuses. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Okay, so I got terrarium earrings and these lotus earrings from that vendor. 
Aren't they pretty? Okay. So I got those. Those are not the only earrings I bought. <laughs> and then I got them for 10% off. And these were 10 bucks. Um, so cheapish. Okay, so that went in here. So I'll put the jewelry in that bag. I even bought Spin Cycle, y'all. Who am I? <laughs> anyway, okay, so this I did not purchase. This was a um, door prize that somebody else won, but they weren't sure what to do with the yarn, and I thought it would look really cool in a weaving or something. Not that I have a loom, but I've been thinking about getting like a, a frame loom because those are the ones I like. And I might make a wall thingy with these. They're pretty. And this is Shock and Mare Fashion Liana, which is, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but it's okay. I don't speak German. Um, where's the, don't have my glasses. 50% virgin wool, 50% acrylic. But I like it because it kind of looks like roving a little bit and then like single ply. I don't know. I thought it would look cool in like a wall thing. So project for another time. It's going to go in the stash. I think it's pretty. Um, all right, showed you that. Where should I begin? <laughs> Oh, I said I was going to do my regular purchases and then I'll do the yarn crawl purchases. Didn't I? Did I? I don't know. Anyway, we don't care. I'm just going to ramble today. This is fine. You guys want to see some knitting before I really dive in? Because <laughs> I, I, all right. So I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, let me show you my sweater. Okay. Sorry. I just woke up y'all. My brain is like, woo, as always. Um, How is my coffee already cold? I took my sweater with me. There's a story. <laughs> I took my sweater with me so I could work on it. I, I, I bound off and then I went to do the sleeves and my needles were gone. Here's the problem with that. Like night before last, I pulled out my shorties. I got my, my size tips that I needed and my little short cable and I measured it to make sure it was the right size for the sleeve and then I stuck it in this bag so I wouldn't forget it so I could work on my sleeves on the yarn crawl bus which was the whole thing I wanted to work on on the yarn crawl bus but I had finished the color work <laughs> that night because I took me a while to fall asleep so I, fin I finished my color work and I went ahead and did the ribbing on the bus and I was like, okay, now I can work on the sleeves. And I went to look for the uh, shorties and they're gone. I know for a fact that I put them in the bag. They're gone. Not saying anybody took them or anything. I think they fell out of the bag at some point and they're just lost now. So now I've got to buy shorties. <laughs> and luckily I was able to find that the three inch tips are available by themselves but I lost the cord too so I'm, I think I'm gonna buy the Chowgu shorties combo set that comes with the cords but I'm just gonna end up having like another set of the two inch tips that I never use it's fine so I've got to order those and I'm wondering like should I do my sleeves in magic loop until they come or can I be patient and wait until like Tuesday when they arrive in the mail? I don't know. But anyway, I finished the color work. So I want to show you guys the color work. It's my only knitting to show. So I figure if you're here for knitting and yarn, I'll show my knitting and yarn and then you can go about your day. Um, here's the front. What I did, you guys know, this started off as the Alaska sweater. And then I decided I wanted to use the color work from the Woodland sweater instead. Um, the Alaska sweater also has color work on the sleeve cuffs and the Woodland sweater does not. So this will still be a combo because I am going to do the sleeve color work 
Um, so I'm using, I use the woodland color work for the body and I'm gonna use the Alaska color work for the sleeves. So it's combo. Anyway, <clears throat> here's my color work. You guys can't see it. So I've got the deer. There we go. It looks better in the shade. Deer right there and the bear right there. And I wanted to use the Alaska color work because all the trees were different or the woodland color work because all the trees are different. The Alaska color work, it's the same trees like repeated um, every 20 something stitches, um, but it's the exact same trees all the way around. This one, they differ, which is why I wanted to use this one because I felt it gave it more character. All right, so that's that. And then it's the color work on the back. You got a squirrel right there and a bird right there. And then these weird jackalope looking things in the trees. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but that's what they remind me of. Um, I don't know what they're supposed to be, but there's like two of them in here. Yeah, there's one like right there. Um, but yeah, that's the woodland color work. I think it's beautiful. So yeah, the body is finished. So now I just gotta do the sleeves, which I can't do because I lost my needles. And I can't have an incomplete set, so I have to buy replacements. Um, so I think, I think this is just gonna sit until my replacements arrive. I don't wanna mess with Magic Loop because I don't like Magic Loop. Except when I'm doing toes. Okay, that's my knitting, that's all the knitting. All right, let me show you guys yarn in case you're just here for yarn. Um, before I get into the yarn crawl stuff, I, have, I do have yarn from not the yarn crawl. <laughs> There's so much stuff over here. All right, so I went into Joann's to look for fabric. Came out with yarn. This is the inclusivity, did I get that right? Yes, inclusivity yarn. Um, I think this is the Joann's brand, the Big Twist. Big Twist Living, it pulls weird. Cause I was gonna do, I was gonna make uh, giant crochet squares. Cause this is gonna be a crochet project for me. And um, it pulls weird. So I'm gonna have to do knit instead or Tunisian crochet. Um, cause in Tunisian, cause someone suggested that I try, um, that they didn't like it pulled weird for them too when they tried to do it in crochet, but it looked good in knitting. So I did a square in Tunisian knit stitch and they're right. It stripes normal when you do it that way. Um, I also did Tunisian full stitch, which looked really pretty too. So I'm thinking I might do Tunisian full stitch or alternate the two. I could do Tunisian full stitch, Tunisian knit stitch, and then I could do uh, squares and solid colors um, in different stitches just to play around to make it interesting. I don't know. But my other thought was I'm just gonna return it all because I, I really wanted to do crochet squares and they don't like regular crochet squares. And they don't look good because of the way the yarn pulls. But I have, Except for the yarn that I used already. I have all of this left. But I'm disappointed with it now because it's not gonna do what I wanted it to do. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I got some fabric quarters. Look, they're shiny. They look like moonlight for bags. Um, which I'm going to pair with this really pretty print. These snowdrops, are they pretty? So I'm gonna put these together because I think they look really cool together for a bag um, when I can access my sew. Well, now my sewing table is cleaned off, but all my accoutrement is in the uh, craft room covered up in all the stuff that fell down from the bookcase. Uh, and I got some cotton yarn because I want to try to make some washcloths, which I've never done. Seems pretty simple. Um, these are, I think this is also one of their brands, this KC Knit and Crochet Essential Cotton. I just really like this colorway. Isn't that pretty? And then this one just gave me 70s vibes. 
oh, which color is this? This is Chesapeake, so it's from home. Um, <laughs> and this one is Desert. I thought it was really pretty. So I'm gonna make washcloths with these. All right, um, non-yarn crawl yarn, where is it? I got my Lola Bean yarn. City so nice, they named it twice, sock set they were doing, the Yak sock set. And I didn't realize there were so many colors that came with it. I thought there were only two minis, but they sent five. Um, thingy. There we go. So it's a five mini skeins. And this yak yarn. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so that those, and this is, like I said, it's the yak base. 70% um, superwash merino, 20% yak, and 10% nylon. And I still have yak up there that I'm gonna dye some one of a kinds for, for the yarn crawl. And I got my lambstring yarn for March, March, that I had not opened yet. Recycling, lambstrings yarn. Drop something. Oh, it's a black heart. It's multiple black hearts. What are these? I'm dropping hearts. Other oh, buttons. Black heart buttons. And this is Nemos. I know the lighting in here isn't great, but you know, we're in my office. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's that yarn. And I'm gonna lose these buttons. Recycling. And check. Okay. I think that's all the non yarn crawl yarn. Yes, okay. Yarn crawl yarn, here we go, oh my God. Um, <laughs> let's start with Yarn and You, which I did not get a lot at, which surprised me. But at that point, it was one of the last stores and uh, Yarn and You McKinney Knittery, like by the time I got there, I was like, I spent too much money, so I was conservative, um, mostly. <laughs> here are the yarns I got. I got a shovel wool ball, black and white and gray. And then I got these and one is kind of washed out looking and one is solid and I thought they would look fun together in something, um, but it's online, online street design color. I don't know, I don't know this brand, but this is the kind of washed out looking one. And then this is the solid one. I just thought they would be, make a fun play off of each other if I like alternate them um, in stripes or something. Um, do they have names? No? Okay, this is three, five, three, seven, six, and this is four, seven, three, nine, five, I think. Or is that a lot number? I don't know. Or maybe it's color 105 and color 112. That sounds better. I think those were lot numbers. I mean, 105, 112, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> I got these, I thought they would look cool together. Will I put them in socks? I don't know. I think they would look pretty in like a shawl or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got those from Yarn and You. And then I got McKinney Knittery. I got, they moved all the Quinson Company to the back, which makes me think maybe they're gonna not, I don't know if this is true. Uh, are they gonna stop carrying Quinson Company? I don't know. Cause now all of it's in the back and 
uh, was it La Bien-Aimé has taken up the space where the Quentin Company used to be. And I get that they carry more pricier brands at McKinney Nittery, which is fine and great, but you know, I love Quentin Company. And if they're gonna like kind of throw it all in the back, it's kind of disappointing for me. And they still have like a ton of Cascade and I think they carry some Barocco and stuff like that in there too. But most of the yarn at McKinney Knittery is kind of on the pricey side. So I'm just, I'm kind of sad that they put all the Quince and Company in the back like that because it, it disturbs me because it's the only place I know locally that has Quince and Company and I love that yarn. So mm. I think West Seventh Wool has some Quince and Company, but they don't have the Chickadee, and that's that's my yarn of choice. Um, but anyway, I <laughs> I got another skein of the blue because uh, I only had one left over from my, my um, Swallow sweater, and I had bought that yarn at U2 Yarn. I showed you guys that I was working on a sweater that I frogged and said I was going to start over. Well, I wanted another skein of blue to put in it, so I got that. Long story. Sorry. <laughs> You know what? I should put the yarn in the bag. And then it'll be easier for me to put everything away then. Actually, there's more yarn. Never mind. <laughs> I'll put it in a bag in a minute. All right. So I got that. And then, like I said, I bought Spin Cycle. I think at that point in the day, my brain was dead. Anyway, so I bought Spin Cycle. I just want to like <laughs> purple. <laughs> I got spin cycle. Don't judge me. It's fine. Um, this is absolute zero. They happen to have a lot of darker colored spin cycle on the wall and it pulled me in. Whatevs. And I bought a pin. A yarn pin. Isn't that pretty? It's just a rainbow skein of yarn. I like it. All right. That's where my postcard thing is. And I left my postcard thing at home. So now I've got to combine two postcards. Hopefully the stickers peel up and I can put them on here. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So that's that one. And okay. That's stuff. Yarn. On the Lamb Yarn Shop have Beachy Breeze Fibers. And I wasn't gonna, I did not plan to buy two sweater quantities during the yarn crawl, but then I bought this. This is Mayflowers. Not pretty. Not pretty. So, yeah. Oh, you know what this will look cool in? I could make a weekender. Is this enough yarn for a weekender? I don't know. I did try not to buy a bunch of fingering yarn. So a lot of this is not fingering yarn, which I'm proud of myself for. This is DK. Um, so there's that. This I will put in the bag. Okay. That's all the yarn I bought at On The Lamb. I wanted to go back because um, Hank Me Home tonight had their trunk show, but it was during the yarn crawl bus, so I couldn't go. Um, and I want to go back and get some of their yarn, but I have bought enough. I think I bought enough. Hmm. Okay, so I got that. And then I went to Lone Star Yarn, which is one of the yarn crawl stores that I had never been to. Um, so I drove out there. And I got two skeins of yarn. This is Alpaca Yarn Co. And this is Symmetry, which is a sport weight alpaca. 50% baby alpaca, 50% wool. I just thought it was really pretty. And I wanted to buy something at that store because I had never been there before. And the owner was really nice. So I got two skeins of yarn from there. The first store I went to on the yarn crawl was U2 Yarn because it's the closest to me and I got the super swirls. Ah, here's the shawl pattern. Glare. Uh, this is the poly shawl, as you can see. 
I'm not showing you the back because it's got the coupon code on it for the pattern, which I need to download today. But I don't know which color I'm gonna use. All right, so did I buy multiple colors? Yes. Did I put two back? Also, yes. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to do an earthy toned one because one of the things I like about U2 yarn is how like muted and earthy most of their colorways are. Love them. And you know, I keep talking about them on here. I love their yarn. Um, and they're going to flock. So I'm going to hang out with them at flock. Um, so you guys have seen, if you've been here for a bit, I have a mini swirl in this same colorway. Combination, colorway combination. It's a DK baby. Um, so I got this one and I was like, I'm gonna do it in these colors cause you know, beachy desert vibes, right? <laughs> but then I saw these and I couldn't decide between the two, so I got them both. Again, I put two of them back, okay? So there was this one, super earthy vibes, right? But then there was this one, and the, it's got like a blue denim -y vibe in it, and I think these will look good together. And then, speaking of, all right, hold on, where I put it? All right, so. Speaking of the yarn that I had that I was using this blue in, this is it. <laughs> I forgot it was in here. Anyway, so I got this blue to go with this yarn that I already have. And they had one more skein left that was hiding. Because, you know, I told you guys I had bought it all. They had an extra. Um, so, yeah, I got one more. Um, so, that doesn't count. This doesn't count <laughs> as a yarn crawl purchase. Because this was just an additional skein for some uh, some yarn I already had in my stash. So this was to assist me in a project I already have. This is fine, this is fine. That doesn't count. This counts though. And then I got <laughs> one fingering weight swirl, but I could not resist because it was blue and dark and beautiful and I had to. <laughs> All right, stitch markers. And I got some of those split ring stitch markers, which turns out I had already ordered some. They're over there. It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's all fine. It's all fine. All right, and then more stitch markers. And then this was in my bag. I like that little key. That's really cool looking. I'm not sure what this is for. I don't know. It was in my bag. It stays in the bag. It's fine. Free candy. I don't think I can eat it though because it's got gelatin in it and gelatin's made of piggies and I don't eat piggies. Um, tangents. Um, coffee. There's a little bit more yarn for the people that are here for yarn, but I'm almost done with the yarn. In case you're like, okay, I got to go, lady. Anyway, okay. That was U2 Yarn. So U2 Yarn was intentional. I didn't mean to buy as many, but I did mean to go get those. And then this is from Knit Dallas, which was also intentional. But I did not mean to buy as much as I did. I wanted a sweater quantity of Yarnadelic. And here's my other postcard. Oh good, they're all stickers. So I need to peel all the stickers off and put them on this one. Oops. <laughs> anyway. So I wanted a sweater quantity of Yarnadelic and originally I was gonna get fingering weight, but again, I need less fingering weight, I have enough. So I got their worsted which looks like sport weight, but maybe it blooms. I don't know. Anyway, I'll have to swatch it. But this is the beautiful ones. Prince and the Revolution, beautiful ones, you guys. Anyway, it's heathered. It's a neutral tone, which normally this a lighter neutral isn't my vibe, but it's heathered and Prince. 
and I think I think it's a good color I think it's a good color and ooh yes look at that together huh yeah anyway I don't know if you guys can see the heathering because of the lighting in here maybe if I put enough together <laughs> cancel each other out you'll get some textures and tones had to this is what I went there for so it wasn't this particular colorway that I went there for but I purposely went to knit Dallas to get a sweater quantity and non superwash yarn and this again is yarnadelic and this is worsted Falklands Corydale and then <laughs> Their power was out and I felt bad because I'm like, you know, they're going to, I don't want them to lose business because, you know, power out, it wasn't out all day, but it was out for a bit. And I was like, and they felt really bad about it, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to shop anyway. So I broke out the phone light, walked around, did some shopping, bought a few things. <laughs> look at this fuzzy goodness. Look at it. Look, 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 look at the fuzzy goodness. Okay, this is Fiber Company in the Ciro base. And this is 40% alpaca, 40% cotton, 20% wool. Uh, sport weight. Sport weight. <laughs> Squish. Okay, if you guys recall, I dyed some Suri alpaca in my Gamork colorway. I think I'm gonna combine it, even though that one's, uh, was it lace weight, lace weight, fingering? I don't remember, but I'll combine that with this. Just a giant fuzzy thing. I don't know what I'm gonna use, I don't know. It was soft and gray with black in it, uh, it's fine. <laughs> and last time I went to Knit Dallas, I bought a bunch of Madeline Tosh Pashmina in the grays, 50 shades of gray. I got some more. Um, this one is Void, which I actually have on regular fingering. And then I got Black. Mm, black. Eek. Okay. So this is going to go with those grays. Do I know what I'm making with them yet? No. It's fine. <laughs> and then... This was just so soft. You can feel it. Like, like, what? Drape. <laughs> it's so soft. This is Balayage Baby Alpaca Wool. And this is Puno. Do, do, do. And this one is Chavin. And I thought like, there's a little bit of blue in here. So I figured get one with more blue in it to kind of And I'm thinking like a little shawlette or scarf or something with this, but it's so soft. So got those. And then got a little owl tin with little owl stitch markers inside. It's got like four, like five regular, four, five regular metal stitch markers. And then one little owl progress keeper, which is stuck on the rings. Ugh. One of the rings is stuck on here. Hold on, I'm trying to get it off. Can't get it off. Come on. There we go. All right. And then like a little owl. He's cute. He's cute. I just wanted the 10. <laughs> Cause there's an owl on it. Um, so I got that. And then an owl yarn pin. So it's an owl sitting on top of yarn. Which I was thinking of getting a new tattoo. Because I'm always thinking of getting a new tattoo. But like a fiber one. Um, and I was thinking like birds with yarn. I don't know. But I just, it called to me. It said owls and yarn. Yes. Um. Okay. If you were here for yarn... I believe that's it, my friends. Nope. Hold on. One more. One more. <laughs> Shh. 
Josh. All right. <laughs> I forgot about this. Okay. How did I forget? The other shop I said I would spend all my money at. Quixotic. I got yarn. Duh. And I... Oh, my shorties! <laughs> they were in the bag. God dang it. If I had just looked in the bag, I could have started my sleeves. <gasps> this makes me so happy. <sighs> I'm glad I hadn't ordered those yet. Okay, let me set those aside. <gasps> I don't have to pause on my sweater. This is awesome. I do have to label yarn today, though. Mm. Yay, I found my shorties. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Quixotic, I did buy yarn. But I also went to another progress keeper. You know, yarn crawls. They give you stitch markers and whatnot. Anyway, we went to Fiber Lady, which is another yarn store. So Fiber Lady and Lone Star Yarn were the two stores that I had never been to on the yarn crawls. Um... So we went to Fiber Lady and I got to see the machines. <laughs> oh my God, they were so cool. So they had um, they had a drafting, I wanted to take video, but I didn't wanna make it weird. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I did take a picture of one of the machines, which I put on Instagram, you guys saw it. If you didn't, here it is. Um, <laughs> there were three machines, there were three machines. So there was a machine that drafts, well, yeah, drafting machine. He called it a drafting machine. It drafts and he had like this bunched up bamboo and he ran it through the machine and then it was like a smooth fiber. It was beautiful. And then he had, all right, so there's the drafting machine and then there's the spinning machine and then there was the plying machine. And I think the plying machine is the one I had the picture of. But, and he ran them so we could watch them do the thing. And then he had the, the skein, like the giant, like skein winder electric. It was like this big. Oh, so cool. And <laughs> if you guys are ever interested in natural fibers yarns, like, you know, uh, plant fibers, he will um, do blends for indie dyers. You guys want some indie dyed um, a bamboo yarn? Because that could be a possibility, y'all. I could have my own yarn blend. Wouldn't that be cool? Cinematic skin yarn blend. And it would be shiny. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> we went there and I got some fiber. That was the one place that had fiber. I got some bamboo fiber to play with. He even gave me some as a sample because I told him, I was like, I'm new to spinning. I don't know what I'm doing. And he gave me... Um, it's this beautiful turquoisey blue to play with to get the hang of. Uh, my plan is for the fiber, because I did buy some. Um, but my plan is to blend this with some merino or something. Because I finished the blending board. Um, it's not the best because my staple gun sucks. But I made a blending board and I need to clean it. It's fine. Um, so I did make it. <laughs> Anyway, so my plan is to blend and um, with merino to make my life easier. But yeah, he gave me free free fiber to play with. <laughs> okay, and I bought yarn too and fiber. Let me show. Yes, I got these to do a fade for a shawl. I don't have a pattern for, so <laughs> I just saw them and wanted to put them all together, and so I bought them. Um, <laughs> this is bamboo made from rayon. And their colorways. So I got silver, which really does look silver. Maybe this will be, I'll, I'll have him do silver just for me. A custom blend for cinematic skeins with silver and blue. Yes, that could be fun. Okay, so this, it's a thought. This is the Midori base. So it's 100% bamboo from Rayon. Um, four ounces, 113 grams, 430 yards. Um, sport, sweet, it's sport weight. And he was telling me like with spinning fiber, it's like almost impossible to overspin bamboo, but you can underspin it. I don't know, whatever. It's going to be fun to play with. Um, so silver, morning sky, which is silver and blue. Right? So this to this, right? And then... 
This one is called, where's the name? Is that the name? Is approximately the name? <laughs> I don't know, whatever. This one to this one. There's no name on it. It's okay. Oh, let's hold them that way. Oh, this hurts my thumb. And this one is Misty Glen, which is just a soft sagey green. So I think these would fade well together if I can hold them properly. They're so drapey. Oh, come on. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. So we got the green, the green with the blue, the blue with the gray, and the gray. Huh? Yes. Okay. I think these will all look great together. So I got these. Yarn bag, yarn bag. And I got some fiber, as I said. I got this. And this is to play with blending. Um, this is New Southwest. Look at those colors. Look at the colors. It's pretty. It's like deserty rainbow vibes. Um, oh, fiber bag. I need a fiber bag. Oh, Theo wants to come in here so bad. It's I'm sorry, buddy. Tell your friend to stop chewing on that bone and you can come in. <laughs> and then I got this one because dark and stormy vibes. This is deep forest. So it's like deep teals and grays and oh, love it. blue okay so i got these to play with my blending board on okay <laughs> more yarn and this this is this is this is it fiber bag okay. this is fiber okay <laughs> this is the last of the yarn, and then you are free to go away if you don't want to talk about all the fiber. There's so much fiber. <laughs> I got this to make a wrap with. This is Malabrigo Carousel in the super bulky base, and I just loved it. This is Potion, which is one of my favorite Malabrigo colors. I just think this would be pretty and cozy and wonderful, and maybe I didn't buy enough. It's two enough for a little wrap. I don't know. Maybe I needed more. I don't know if this is enough to do what I want to do. I have to look at patterns and find out if I need more of that or not. But I do have a plan for this. It's going to be a wrap. Um, I just didn't look to see how much I needed of it. It's fine. And then because it's quixotic, I got some smooshy. Um, so this is Dreaming Color Smooshy Cashmere because they always like during the yarn crawl, they usually have the one of a kind cashmeres. I got, these are all one of a kind, so there's no names, but look at this one. Look at the colors. Mm, yes. And then this one. Isn't that pretty? one with the black a little pooling in the black yes okay one of the kinds and then they had wool mice wool vice how do you say it uh whatever this giant baby of yarn but it's got black and blue like blue fades like a blue what's it called gradient a blue gradient with some black in it i had to um Knock it off. Anyway, this giant baby is uh, 1,700 yards. I'm going to make a shirt. <laughs> so, yes, this. And lastly, this is also yarn. This is... Is that a J? I don't know. This is Sydney the Sheep kit for the shocked zoom loom. Oh, I don't have a zoom loom. Do I need a loom? Uh-oh. Do I need a loom? Mm. 
Uh-oh. It was 50% off. Um, look, it's a little sheep toy. Look, look at the loops. But I didn't see the part where it says loom. Hold on. Do I need a loom? Let's open it and find out. Let's look at the stuff. Uh, oops. Well, it's open now. That's okay. I have a bag in here somewhere. But look at, look at, look at the fuzzies. Isn't that cool? All right. And some berry yarn. Yeah, some berry yarn. Um, do I need a loom? And some stove cleaners. I know what these are called. I can't remember. It's been a long time. I just remember the pipe cleaners. That's what they're called. I remember that from when I was a kid. I don't remember what we used them for. Do I need a loom? I need a loom. Dang it. Oh. Weird things with my face. I'm sorry. I need a loom. Well, crap. <laughs> I was all excited about the sheep and the yarn. I should read. Reading is fundamental. <laughs> oh. But look at it. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Aw, oh, man. But you know what? I'll betcha I can just do some some crochet. I can make a crochet sheep. I might doctor this up a bit just so I can use this stuff. Um and do a crochet sheep because do it. I don't know. I'll see how much the loom costs. I don't need a loom. Well, I have that bracelet loom. I don't know. I'll have to look and see what a zoom loom is. Oh, well, that's disappointing. That's okay. Oh, well. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's fine. Okay. And then... That is it for yarn stuff. If you just wanted to see the yarns. That's it. Everything else is spinning related. If you are done with me, that is cool. That's all I'm going to talk about today is stuff I bought. Um, and I'm going to unbox. Well, the whole reason I want to go into the spinning thing, I want to unbox something for you guys. Um, spinning related. Oh, you know what? There's some other stuff. <laughs> I keep saying that's it, don't I? Uh, well, it's not yarn, but it's knitting related. Okay. I keep forgetting. I've had like five videos now and I keep forgetting to mention this. Um, for the new to you make along, I picked my own prize winner and they sent me gifts and I keep forgetting to show them. They sent this handmade card. Isn't that lovely? And a lovely little note. And what they made for the new to you was some birds. They sent you bird. It's a cute little canary. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make um, some fiber, not fiber, some fabric <laughs> wings for it. And because what, what it is, you have these little birds and you put a little thing in them. And you stick them in plants or whatever. It's like a decorative thing. Um, but I'm going to make some little fabric wings for it and I'm gonna put it on a fishing line and just hang it so it's like pretty in my room anyway they made me a bird Tweety <laughs> I have a Tweety I should make a Sylvester anyway I think it's cute yellow is allowed for birds <laughs> 
Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, so the person that made this, if you're watching, thank you so much. I do love it. I'm sorry it took me so long to show it. I just kept forgetting to show it. Um, but yeah, I need to find the right fabric for the wings so I can make a little hangy thing for my room. Anyway, I love it. I think it's adorable. So yeah, they made me a bird as a thank you. I sent them three skeins of yarn, I think. I think. I don't remember. I have a bad memory. And I bought a book. Look at all these charts. Look at all the color charts. Okay. <laughs> and I got a yarn bowl. Did I need a yarn bowl? No. You will understand. Have you met me? <laughs> yes! This is amazing. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> Cinematic skeins now in 3D. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. This is from the Naughty Nitrous. She also had cauldron ones, and I kind of wanted one of those, but this said buy me, and I did. <laughs> and it's glitterific. Look, it's got glitter in it. It's skull bowl. <laughs> and the yarn comes out through his eye. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm thinking about doing, since the yarn comes out through this eye, right, right? I'm thinking of putting an eye patch on it, and it's going to be a one eyed willy bowl. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I got a yarn bowl from the Naughty Nitrous. <laughs> it's amazing, and I love it, and I kind of wish I had two, but I only need one. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of yarn bowls. Do not ask me how much this costs. Um, <laughs> we'll not go into it, but <laughs> there were multiple versions of this. This was the Sunsetty Vibe one. There was one that had plants all over it. There was one that, um, was this one, that one. There was one that had, um, what are they called? Flowers. <laughs> what are they called? There was one that had flowers on it. And then there's another one that was blue that I was also going to buy until I found out the price. So I bought the tablet stand <laughs> instead of the box. This is like, this is the pattern that was on the, um, the uh, yarn box. But it's a tablet stand. There's another piece. Um, get it. Get me out. So yeah, you put this piece in here. Pop them together. And it's tablet stand. But I'm going to do it the opposite way so the picture leans out. So this way. So then, not cute. Not cute. All right. Did I need it? No. Resistance was futile. So yeah, mm, got that. I'm not. I'm not going to go into how much these cost. But this is beautiful. And I, okay. <laughs> That's when I knew things were going too far. Um, yeah. I got these stitch markers from the Fiber Lady. And they're just little mandalas. I think they're really pretty. Little wood ones. They're pretty. Okay. And then 
I got these, and I know they're yellow, but you know, sunflowers. I got these earrings that were done by an artisan in Texas. Just thought they were really pretty, cute, they're leather. I got uh, one of the lady, there was a fabric store next to Yarn and You. And one of the very nice ladies on the bus, Dawn, I believe, cut some of the fabric for me that she had bought for herself and she shared because I loved it. I really wish I'd gone to the fabric store. I actually might have to go back to the fabric store because I was talking about Halloween fabric and apparently they have some for like super discount. So I might go back because it's, uh, I think it was 45% off, she said. So got some yarn fabric. And this was a gift. But I told her when she comes to the yarn crawl next week, if she wants some yarn, she's welcome to grab a skein of yarn as a trade for the fabric that she kindly shared with me. Um, I got a mug, which I showed on Instagram already. It's not hoarding if it's yarn. Got it's pink on the inside. Bubba's. Stop. And it's from Lenny Mod Handmade Ceramics. Sorry, I gotta not hit the glass. Knock it off. I would be ashamed to like try to scare the dogs or distract them from playing with each other and break the glass on my French doors. Mm. Which the house builders didn't peel the paint off properly. So there's paint on the glass that I need to scrape off, but I'm afraid of breaking or scratching the glass. So I haven't done it. So it's a mess. Mm. Anyway, I got, where was this? The cotton mill, maybe, I think. I got these microwave bowls. <laughs> you know, like when you take the bowls out of the microwave and they're super hot, fabric dealies for the bowls. Anyway, I ate a lot of soup, so I got bowls. Woodland creatures. This one's got foxes on one side and bunnies on the other. I thought they were cute. They were three bucks. Four bucks. They were four bucks. Another progress keeper. Got that. Is that all the yarn crawled? No. <laughs> I got this adorable bag. Because dogs on skateboards. There's schnauzers on there. Cause look, 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 it's the yo. <laughs> I had to. Mm. And what I'm thinking about doing with this is this will be my fabric, ba like my um, fiber basket. So when I'm spinning and stuff, I'll put my, my fiber and stuff in here and set this next to the, to the the thingies. Yes? Yes. Okay. That's what I bought this for. It has a purpose. Okay. And then I got some little snap bags. And it's just a little set. Kind of like my rainbow one, my black rainbow one. So it's this bag, a stripy bag, and a little notions pouch. I actually do use these when I'm doing uh, color work and two at a time socks. So these are useful. And then I got some stickers. This is for Shenandoah, which is, you know, Virginia. Shenandoah National Park. And this one is Glacier National Park. See the knit stitches and stuff? Anyway. They had a bunch of these, but I got two. And then on the way to Yarn and You, there was a new soap shop. So I got some soap. I got a Cecil uh, soap saver. And got some cherry lip balm. And I got frankincense and myrrh soap. I'll show this way. 
frankincense and myrrh, sweet pea, and she said she was retiring sweet pea. So if you're local and you like the scent of sweet pea, go pick you up some because she won't be making it much longer. And this is breakfast at Tiffany's. They smell delightful. Um, but yeah, I was like, well, kind of like when you walk by Lush at the mall and the scent is just like, hey, what's that? So I walked past the soap place and I was like, hey, what's that? And got some soap. So got that. And I think that's all the yarn crawl stuff. Double checking. Yes, that's all the yarn crawl stuff. Now. I'm gonna take a quick break to check on my boys and get some water, and then we'll go into the fiber stuff. But um, if you're here for yarn crawl haul and yarn, that's all I got and for reels this time. <laughs> and uh, when I come back, which will be like a millisecond for you guys, we'll talk fibery stuff. Okay, one sec. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? Was it long? Was it was it torture? Um, <laughs> all right, this isn't yarn crawl stuff, but it, it's also not fiber because it was at the bottom of the things. I got some bags from Paper Crane Yarns. Dinosaurs eating ice cream. <laughs> And I've been looking at this fabric for myself and um, she already had a bag. So now I don't need to buy the fabric and make my own. But... There, bags. Okay, like I needed more. Okay, fiber. <laughs> I am down the spinning rabbit hole, my friends. Um, but it's kind of like the whole knitting thing got into knitting, bought all the things. Now I'm like, I'm into fiber, buying all the things. <laughs> Gonna have to not buy all the things for a little bit <laughs> to make up for all the things I bought yesterday. So I showed you guys the blending board. If you're on my Instagram, you've already seen these. I made Rolex, blended up some fiber, made some Rolex. They're tiny, it's fine. I made these. Isn't that pretty? With sparkles. With sparkles. <laughs> I made these. Anyway, I started spinning them already on my e spinner, which I have doctored up, which looks awesome, and I will show you guys that too. Um, so I'm already spinning it. It looks like that. Do do do. There we go. It looks like that. This is my Dreaming Robots Eel 6 e spinner. And I have doctored it up with a overhaul kit from Hearthrest. And basically it's just some, you know, they have one of the three printer thingies and they just doctored up some of the features. Um, so when you buy one of their kits, which you have color options, I chose green blue. You get, I really wanted this piece because this isn't something that comes on the eel, but it's a thing to hold your you know, hold your fiber out of the way and whatnot when you're taking a break. Um, but yeah, it just pops right into there. The orifice, um, when you first buy it, it's white. This jazzed it up a little bit. It almost looks like metal, which is why I got this color. And then <laughs> they even do like little color bits for this. So you get matching thingies for here, the tips. You get a dial. And you have options, they have a spiky one, and then they have an option for this where it's got like little splits in it, which looks kind of cool. But I was afraid that I would snag things on that, so I got the plain one. Um, but yeah, I doctored up a bit, made it interesting and gave it some character. And I got these. And they are larger than the ones that come with the eel six and they're a little bit thinner so they hold more however they don't I, I tried to spin with this the other day and it's like my brake band doesn't like it it made this really weird squeaky noise like it wasn't I'm thinking maybe I need to sand this to be a little bit smoother or something where the brake band goes so it slides better um 
yeah, because this, you hear it? This has some texture to it, um, whereas the ones that come with the spinning wheel don't. So I feel like it's grabbing when it shouldn't be grabbing. Um, but I've just got to buy some sandpaper, and I think if I do sandpaper around it and smooth it out some, it'll make it run fine. So I haven't been able to use these yet. Um, but anyway, I bought these, and they're spider webs. <laughs> so my eel six is now called arachne because spider webs, Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I doctored that up, made it pretty. Even though I can't use those yet, it's fine. I got two of them. Um, but my goal was really to use those for plying, so I really only needed two. Um, so it's fine. I've just got to fix it so I can use it. Um, okay, that's that. Oh, my yarn. Do you guys want to see the yarn I made? Hang on, let me grab it. I told y'all this is going to be a long one. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> Isn't it pretty and heathered? A little bit of, all right, it's not perfect, but it's better than the multicolored one I showed y'all last time. That was definitely overspun and slightly ropey. It's fine, it was my first thing. I made, I knit something with that and I didn't show it last time, did I? No, I'll pop in a picture because I don't know where I put it. Um, but I think I'm gonna frog it and redo it because it's not what I meant to do. I was trying to do like a, a Mobius type thing. So what I did is I cast on my stitches and then you know how you normally when you join in the round, you make sure nothing's twisted. I left mine twisted because I wanted it to twist, but I don't think that works well. I don't know. I was trying to do a Mobius cowl. Anyway, it is definitely ropey. This is not. This, if it was not, if it was more consistent, would be fantastic. I mean, I think it's pretty damn good just by itself. This is lovely. I'm proud of this one. <laughs> I feel like this is my first real skein of yarn. Um, Bubba, can you not? Stop. Hey, I can see you. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I made this yarn and I'm super proud of it and I feel like I'm gonna use it. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to throw at the door. Yes, I do. Stop it. Stop. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so I made this. It's lovely. I like it a lot. This is Ashford Merino Sliver. It's like Merino Silk. I don't know. I made it on that. It's, I like it. Um, I, I need to rescan it, so I don't know what the yardage is on this yet. Um, cause I haven't rescanned it. It was hanging to dry. So it's just now dry. Anywho, I made that. I'm proud of it. Okay. <laughs> I will show you fiber I bought and then we'll look at the stuff that I really want to show. Cause I'm trying to decide if I'm going to buy them. Um, okay. Get this stuff out of the way. Okay. I mentioned to you guys last time that I got, I had ordered some fiber from Fossil Fibers because it was Bob Ross related. This is it. And they are just little mini bundles of fiber. Are they cute? And it's the Bob Ross palette. So it's, there's a bare one in here for the white and then all the Bob Ross colorways. It's cute. So this is Rambouillet. And then when I went to order that, they had this on the website. Sorry, I wrapped it up so dog hair wouldn't get in it. <laughs> and this is 
Targi, Gotland Farm, Shetland Farm, Flax, Tussa Silk, and Sari Silk. And this is Winter Moon. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Not going to touch this till I figure out how I want to spin it. <laughs> but I just, I had to. Um, so I bought that. Fiber bag. Okay. Then I've got... More split rings, because <laughs> I forgot I ordered them already. Um, this is, do you guys remember I showed you the Malabrigo Nubecita, which was the little bundles of noob that, that were like off colors? Well, Malabrigo Cloud, which is the translation of noob, but whatever. Um, Malabrigo Cloud is their superwash version, and... I got that right, right? It's not backwards. Yes. Cloud is the superwash version. And this is Cloud Tails, which is little bundles of off-color cloud. So, got that to play with. So, there's no colorway names because they're off-colors. It's fine. But I got this one because the other one was more darker colors, and this one is more lighter colors. So, I figure I can use this on the thing. And the only place I know of that has this is uh, Paradise Fibers. It's the only place I've seen it. Uh, okay, speaking of Paradise Fibers, I bought some past month fiber boxes because, you know, uh, Paradise Fibers has their Fiber of the Month Club. So I got some past month club. Um, I got three of them because I wanted to, well, I watched unboxings of them and I was like, I will try playing with those because I think I will like these, these particular boxes. Um, and I had also gotten, I think I showed this already though, or did I only show it on Instagram? I got a mystery fiber bundle. Um, uh, Paradise Fiber was having a sale. I think I showed this already. Um, anyway, I'll show it again. But the mystery bundle, they did not label anything. So I wasn't sure what anything was. I have gone through their website and combed it to try to figure out what's what. And I think I've identified almost everything. So this is the mystery bundle. And like I said, I'm telling y'all I went through the website to identify everything, but I don't know where I wrote that down. So I can't tell you what this is. I think I haven't done somebody was telling me there's a fiber burn test like when you're not sure what your fiber is there's a burn test I haven't done it yet but I'm pretty sure this is silk um I just haven't done the burn test yet there's also a faux cashmere fiber I want to try and then some neps and the nets, again, this is another thing I'd have to do the burn test on. I'm not sure if these are the wool ones or the cotton ones. Um, some tea, stitch markers, and then this fiber. So this is the mystery bundle. And then these are the fiber of the month clubs. Trying, I don't remember what month they all were though. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, this was the dinosaur one. Let's see. Dino Party was the name of this one. And is there a card in here that told me what's what? I thought there was. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is Merino Bamboo Tweed in the riddle colorway. What's that? And then this is Merino. This is also Merino Bamboo Tweed in the legacy colorway. So a green and a purple. 
and it came with T plastic safety eyes, a dyno stitch marker, and a sticker. And this is to make a little dinosaur guy to make these. I'm not gonna make them, but I mean, that's fine and cool. Um, and then the dinosaur stitch marker. It's one of these little guys, which is cute, it's cute. All right, so that's an example of a Paradise Fibers Monthly Club bag. Um, and I'm doing a comparison, which is why I'm showing you these. So this one, this is the most recent one, I believe. And this one I got because it's black. Um, <laughs> and when um, Rebecca on Kimnet showed it, I was like, it's black, I want it. Um, so this is Corydale, black Corydale. And some wool and mohair locks, which I've already found a home for because I don't know what to do with these. Um, it came with that, that, so two ounces of these, three ounces of this. Um, what was the other one? Okay. I should tell you that so there's a proper comparison of what I'm going to show you in those boxes. Um, uh, where's the thing? Okay. Three ounces. So it's three ounces of each fiber and that one. So there's two ounces, three ounces here. And that was a month. And that also came with some fiber rinse, stitch marker, and tea and sticker. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, total five ounces of fiber. And then, so these two are recent. Um, so this one is, I think the current month one. Yeah, April. So this one is for April. And it's, a fiber braid. So this one's four ounces, a four ounce fiber braid, some buttons, stitch markers, tee, and a sticker. So this one's four ounces. And I want to say they're 30 or $40 a month. I'll put the price at the bottom because we're going to do a compare to these boxes. <sighs> if I can open the damn thing. And I got this one because I'd already seen the unboxing and I wanted a fiber braid. So yeah, this is a fiber braid. And this one is four ounces of Merino in the Frankie colorway. I just wanted the fiber braid because like I said, I already watched the unboxing so I knew what was in these um, and I wanted to add them to my fiber stash. And I wanted the braid mostly because I needed another braid to play with. Um, I want to try fractal spinning. And I also want to try a gradient spin, which I think I'm going to use the Rambouillet for once I get comfortable. All right, so that's what comes in these. So I feel like the general average is four to five ounces of fiber or four to six ounces of fiber, I guess, three, two. Yeah, well, that one had three and then the locks. So I don't think the locks really count. And then the other one had six. So yeah, four to six ounces of fiber. Okay, in the Paradise Fibers box, along with a couple of extras. Okay, okay. Now I've only opened, I've seen the unboxings of these, so I kind of know what's in them. Um, but I really only went through one box. This is the spinning box. I'm thinking personally, from what I can tell from other unboxing of the Paradise Fiber Club, that most of them will not be my speed. <laughs> um, but this, spinning box which admittedly is pricier I feel like is more of a value even though, like it's more expensive but I feel like for what you're getting it's worth it if that makes sense again full disclaimer I am new to fiber so I may not know what I'm talking about but <laughs> I feel like the spinning box, you get more for your money, even though it's more expensive, if that makes sense. 
I think. But again, I'm new to fiber. I don't know what I'm talking about. These are past month boxes. This is the November box. You get a little thing, um, which explains all the stuff that's in here. For this box, you get a postcard. Look at that, isn't that cool? Postcard. Sticker, obviously the theme for this one is flowering cactus. Sticker, some cactus napkins, a cactus bracelet, recipe, discount, they do classes, discounts. They also put rare, rare fiber in here to give you some, anyway. So this is, can't remember that. Does it tell me the ounces of fiber? I can't remember. If it's not on here, I will plug it in at the bottom because I thought two recipes, apple roses is the recipe for this box. Uh, this is Corydale Mint Sari Silk Mulberry Silk in comb top with a worsted preparation. So it tells you all the things. This I can't remember the ounces. But again, if I find it on the website, I'll put it down here. This is, oh, did I say the name? Flowering Cactus is the colorway for this one. And this one is Purple Prickly Pear in Dyed Cheviot. Look at that, isn't that color pretty? And you get uh, some pulled sari silk. And there was a candy in here, but I ate it. Um, <laughs> some pulled sari silk. And this purpley gold colors. And you get a rare fiber. And this is gray trender, the picture of the sheep. And this is like wool I would have to scour and all that good stuff. I think I know, I the lady that does my spinning class, I think I'm going to give this to her. But then it gives you a little history of the fiber and some details. But like I would have to scour and comb and all that good stuff with this. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And that was one of the things that made this box stand out to me. Is you get stuff like that with it. In addition to all this awesome fiber. Which again is why I say I think you get more for your money with this one. Even though it's more expensive. Um, but again I got three of them. So I'm going to show all of them to you. Because like I said, this is going to be a long one today because I'm just going to show y'all stuff. Because why not? So that was this box. I haven't opened the other ones yet, even though I know what's in them. Because I wanted to show you guys how they're packaged. So that's that one. And I don't know what the rare, like I knew what the main things are in here, but I don't know what the extra is. Uh, this one is from January. And this is Mountain Lake. So it comes in this little box. This is the spinning box. And it's packaged like so. Okay. Got a little letter, tells you what everything is. A ticket uh, for drawing that it gives you a chance to win a free course. Cause like I said, they do courses as well. And the drawing was on February 1st. So these are old boxes, so it doesn't really matter. A postcard for the, the month. They're cute. This is Custom Blend 23 Micron Merino in the Mountain Lake colorway. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Okay. Ooh. This is Custom Blend Merino and Kid Mohair in the Silver Fox colorway. Look at that. And then the 
fiber focus is Rambouillet. So I've got some Rambouillet wool. And then this is Black Welsh Mountain. You guys have seen it because I bought some. So this is that black, uh, the blackest <laughs> black you can get, which is brown. <laughs> um, fiber. So the Black Welsh. Got some dryer balls. Felted dryer balls. This is awesome. I needed these. Because I had the plastic hedgehogs and they're dead. Um, and a bear pop. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? Like all the stuff you get. Okay, so that's the Mountain Lake box. And the other one I think was Northern Lights. Let's look at that one. Okay, so again, spinning box. Packaging. I like this paper. I'll try to save this. I just ripped the sticker. I can save the paper. Oh, this is. Oh, smart receipt. Okay. She sent me another box, but I think it might have been a mistake, so I'm going to ask her about it. Okay. Paper tells you what's in there. Postcard. Oh, that's cute. Look at the bunny. There's that one. Recipe for chicken chili. Ooh. Right. <laughs> this is 23 Micron Merino in Rainbow Fire Star and Nylon. And this is Solar Flare. It's like gold. Yeah, gold, copper, blue. Like there's all sorts of sparkly in here. I don't know if y'all can see the, the level. There you go. See all the different sparkly colors? This is what I wanted. Um, <laughs> Custom Milk Blend Aurora Borealis. 18 Micron Merino, 23 Micron Merino, South American Visco Spitz, and Bamboo Rayon. Ooh, look at that. That some power scour for cleaning the wool. Uh, some Angelina with a tip. Great for blending, but only use a little bit. Otherwise your fiber will tend to be plasticky. Tips. Angelina. Reminds me of like the fiber optic. Do you, remember, do you guys remember that from like the 80s? The fiber optic plasticky thing you would get and it would just change colors on the tips and it was just decorative. I don't know. <gasps> Black Merino. I was just talking to somebody about this. The Black Merino. Remember I kept telling you guys I want to make a black sheep sweater and I wanted black merino, but I wasn't able to find it anywhere, like yarn. Oh my God. I need to find somebody that knows how to prep this, that can prep this for me. Oh my God. It's black merino fiber. Look at that. It's still got a uh, VM in it, but that's okay. Look at, look at it. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Look at the crimp. I have black merino. I'm saving this. Oh. This is beautiful. Oh, and that's what the, the scour, the power scour is for is this because of the lanolin in it. it you can really feel the, the oils and stuff in it. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Highly recommend to either flick the locks and spin like that or use wool combs to dizz off comb top. Drum carding this fine fiber is likely to form nips due to the small micron. Drum cardio and risk, you have been warned. <laughs> okay, okay. I need somebody that knows fibery stuff to, fit, to to make this so I can do something with it because I don't want to, I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep that one. Um. Anyway, <laughs> what else? Oh, it's a nightlight. Uh, uh, a nightlight, a little nightlight. A USB nightlight thing. Um, Pop rocks. And some tea. But yeah, do you see what I mean? Like, I feel like the spinning box is the box I should get and not the Paradise Fibers one. Because I also want to be the person that gets something that not everybody gets. You know what I mean? Because I like to be different. And everybody, everybody and their mom gets the Paradise Fiber box. Uh, again, like I said, it's a little bit on the pricey side. But I think if I let go of some other subscriptions, I can rationalize it. And it'll be fine. Um, their current box, I believe, is the Camelids, which I don't think I want. Because um, I watched that unboxing too. And they don't always have extra boxes. So I got this because they had extra boxes. Um, but when they do have extra boxes, they list them on the website. So if you don't want to subscribe to it and, um, she does unboxing videos on YouTube too. So then if like you see a box on the YouTubes that she just unboxed and you can check the website to see if they have any extra ones, you could just buy it without subscribing, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, let me see how much were these. These were $49. So yeah, $49. And I think the... Paradise Fibers one is like 30 or 40. Like, I think it's 30 or 40. I'm not sure. Anyway. But yeah, I think for what you get in the spinning box, it's worth it. I really do. And I feel like it would be more my speed. Like, I feel like that's more usable stuff for me. I don't know. <laughs> what do y'all think? Thoughts? Thoughts? Opinions? Um... And I've been on here for a very long time and I've procrastinated enough and it has stopped raining. So I should go do some things um, in the house. I need to label yarn and I need to dye a couple colorways that popped into my head the other night. So, yeah, I believe that's all I have to talk about. And that was more than enough. Um, oh, did I show you all the crawl bag? It's the crawl bag this year. You've seen it if you've been on my Instagram. I'm so glad I found these and I don't have to buy more. Uh, oh! This is something else I forgot to show y'all. Mustache yarn. I got more mustache yarns, as I always do. One of a kind colorway. I don't remember what it's called. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That was enough. That was enough. Um, so it'll be a little bit before my next episode because I've got the yarn crawl thing going uh, next weekend. And then the acquisition thing or the merger or whatever uh, at work and I'll be super busy and stressed out and probably won't have much to show for it. Um, oh, I am going to, my next project I believe is going to be that bluegrass shawl um, from Wool and Pine because I've never done brioche and I feel like it'll be a fun brioche project and I know I have enough yarn to do it. Um, I can use one of my advents to do it, honestly. I might do. I might do. I still have the, um, I still have a couple of the advents. So I might use my advent skeins to do it. I'm also going to swatch it because I think I might do a solid color and then a bunch of minis. Uh, but I need to see what that would look like. So maybe it won't work for the pattern. I don't know. I've never done brioche and I feel like it's a good way to do brioche in a fun way that I don't have to weave in any ends. So yeah, I'm probably going to do that next. Um, even though I have like other projects that need to be finished, I cannot stop staring at this bird feeding its babies. It's cute. Um, anyway, <laughs> bird vomit's cute. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> should I name this episode bird vomit? I don't know. <laughs> I 
I bought too much. Anyway, I'm going to go. I need to label yarn or it's never going to get done. And then I, I will be scrambling the night before the yarn crawl trying to write labels for everything. Um, so I'm going to go do that. I need to find an audiobook to listen to while I do it. Um, and the dogs are still staring at me like, please let me in the office. And so <laughs> I'm going to go. Uh, I know this was a lot, but I had a lot to show and I have a lot to put away and I need to pick up all the crap that fell off my bookcase, which is a whole project. And I'm glad I took Monday off. So maybe that's what I'll do on Monday. <laughs> anyway, hope to see you at the yarn crawl next week. If you're local, if you're not, all the stuff from the yarn crawl that's left over, because I'm sure there will be stuff left over, will be on the website within the next week or two. Um, yeah, because what I might do, I might take pictures as I'm labeling so then I can have them ready to go to upload to the website um, after the yarn crawl's over. Yeah, I might do that. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to go. Have a good one. Talk to you soonish. Bye.